Hi, welcome. Hope you guys like the new intro for this video. And before we even start, I just want to say thank you for 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. It really means a lot for the channel and for the continuation of where it goes. Now, before I even start, I do want to apologize for the lack of video uploading on the channel that I haven't been doing lately. Because I, since I've been focusing on getting this video together when recording these sorts of footages for the for this review so in case if you're wondering the change this will be the new change instead of using the computer this time around so onwards enjoy this video i know many of you have been wondering if there was ever going to be a just dance 2023 review that i was planning to do last year from what i said earlier but i never got the chance to do it however this is the time the opportunity to actually do it though for that time and the way it is the franchise of the just dance series is going through a weird top schedule between going up and down with their new and current titles of what they did from from the from the worst of what 2021 and 2022 have been bringing us however with 2023 it all begins to change everything in terms of song selection the presentation and from what the gameplay footage is and many other things of what it provides of what makes it so-called a new era for the just dance franchise and with this one it really does feel like a brand new title on a brand new system with a new engine that they provided with unity and which actually it actually suits it very well and when it comes to song selection there i know i even made a video also on some predictions that i said would come to it and it actually for some reason ubisoft made that thing came true finally once and for all with the likeness of them adding a new dark mode and a brand new menu screen plus menu theme which is interestingly enough a really big change and the addition of a change of a new profile that really does differ from the 2021 and 2022 counterpart and with this it really feels like a new different just dance game as you're seeing from here it showcases how the menu looks and is displayed in three columns each at a time and it's just great most of the songs now have titles even though i said that i don't want the next game to have like titles but i changed my mind and these titles actually suit them now even though 2022 was the start within those within the start of bringing in titles not to mention some of the dances also have a change with showcasing camera adjustments or camera differences they even showcase suggestion playlists that they've created themselves which actually suited and the biggest change here is not only just that from what they made but also in terms of they now runs on a new system since just dance unlimited is no longer a thing now on this new game they decided to create a brand new system known as just dance plus which is like just um it's unlimited but it just focuses more on different things now. they also have a new way to propose events or seasons that actually have something interesting and a progression and their setting system is very different and yes just dance plus contains uh for about not too much it's it's growing in the progress once week after week and the final coolness of that is online mode which finally gives access to online multiplayer a final chance to actually display it. when i said that they should have like create little arenas for your friends so you can dance with them one at a time although unfortunately the a player game does not exist still which would have been cool but it is still able to play with six players although maybe in future references or updates maybe or maybe even the next title they'll add it and in terms of profile they really change things up with the new progression mode this really does change everything when you play the game in terms and it has in five different categories explore shine party workout and rise which really puts the effort into what you want to achieve rather than the daily challenges they provide and in terms of recording making your profile they really do change things they add a brand new avatar new backgrounds border badges alliances 
They even add cool emotes, scoring effects, and victory celebrations as well, which truly suit your profile well, and it does a big change to this game. Legit, I don't know why, but it's just that amazing of a, of a game. There's also the cool workout mount on the R button if you press it, and it's a really cool tool to have when you're losing calories and burning them, and, which is a really cool effect. And the cool thing is you actually get to play both games, 2023 and 2024, if you even have both of them or you have them separate or individually, depending on the user that buys the game particularly. So who knows? The thing here is that it works well. It works perfectly. Now you don't have to worry about buying the next Just Dance game and you have to wait for like some of the 2021 or 2020 songs to appear on Just Dance Unlimited because it already gives you that amount. Price-wise, it's like somewhere around the same price as an average Nintendo game of $60. But hey, you can always wait at the Nintendo eShop and Ubisoft will of course put the game on sale for like a lower price at around like, what? $41 or less, depending on what you're buying it for. But it's really interesting, um, whether you buy 2024 or 2023, you'll probably get a free trial access of Just Dance Plus to play for free, without even having to pay. Even if you buy the game on a physical format, you won't exactly get a cartridge of the game. Instead, you'll just get a secret downloadable code that has you get download the game and not have a physical version. Because in the older Just Dance titles, you only had a cartridge for that specific game. But now, the way they're changing it is going full digital on this one. And no longer have to rely on you holding on your cartridge again and again. Even though there are some physical players who will find it interesting to always return their games back and get an alternative game afterwards. But that's how Ubisoft is doing the big change for some reason to Fortnite players when they get a physical copy and it also comes with a downloadable code so it's sort of the similar thing but at least it comes at a different price because that game is just literally free once you buy it online and on the eShop or any other platform you buy it from however in terms of just dance it does the difference even though it's not exactly a switch exclusive because there are some Xbox and PlayStation players out there who still waiting for the game to come out on those consoles, but maybe they, it's because the game isn't that rushed, unlike other bad Nintendo games like Strikers Battle League and Nintendo Switch Sports and many of their other horrible Nintendo games that were from 2022, let alone not Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Splatoon 3, or Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Those games were good, not other way otherwise. But then, in terms of how it goes, it's very different. Basically, is just doing a big change when it comes to throwing a game that actually does super differently. The title screen also changes from the different game you purchase. Just kidding, that thing is totally false because once you buy 2023, you get the 2023 title screen from the start. And when you get 2024 or when a new update comes out for Just Dance 2023, it title screen there changes. Not exactly by default, but it goes by, like, depending how the order goes. However, the events do change, though, even in by progression of what event goes afterwards. And in terms of the gameplay, it really goes well because it really showcases more detail on some of the coaches. The facial features are being shown more than what they did from the older games, which barely lack any texture or any details or just throwing in two screens and all that this one they just go all in and just go on full-on story likeness of showing enhanced camera design and graphics which is just amazing the lore itself is also great answering the dancers and then dance with the swan are really good parts of the story mode and it's really going to continue on with 2025 now after this video gets uploaded there will be the just dance 2025 predictions as well in which i will soon i will also have a special guest soon in the channel if you guess on the comments section below just to let you know on that also another big change that really does so different to the rest of the just dance series let alone the others is they'll have the just dance coaches themselves now have official names throughout the series there wasn't exactly characters or coaches that didn't have names 
Although some recognizable ones you may have heard of, like The Bride and Rasputin is a few, or other ones like The Traveler and Sihanova back in like JV 22. Or, but for some reason, 2023 goes on all out and gives every single coach in 2023 a character name so that it finally gets fully identified of what the game is meant to be and how each character exactly does have an identity rather than just being a regular standard just dance coach and dancing without a purpose you know fortunately some of the older just dance coaches do not get that treatment although when just dance releases a new season there's a chance that an old just dance song will give them a name depending on the specific game that comes with it like for example the coach from so what is named alex the, the coach from call me maybe is named mabel and the, the guy from the Via Loca is named Diego, and a bunch of other characters eventually also get their names as well. And even some of the characters you have in your profile also have a name as well, even though they rarely have a, that occasion in from an older Just Dance title, but eventually they now have it. Even when you have the progression of, you even see some of the coaches with their emote designs as well. And the fact, even if you have Ubisoft Connect, it even displays the coaches beside you. Now, the soundtrack for Just Dance 2023, it's amazing. Like, 100% amazing. Just by looking at each song in particular, there was a bunch of songs that I was surprised to see. Some ones that, four songs I predicted, along with some other ones, like, for example, like, the four songs that managed to get predicted were I Know You're In Trouble, Stay, Sweet But Psycho, and therefore I am, because those would be the obvious choices for them to pick for, obviously, because it was just that obvious, because we already know that Taylor Swift is going to be in JD 2022, and Billie Eilish continues to trend as much. There was only some surprise coaches that I got right, but the song was incorrect, though. Like, for example, Radioactive and Telephone, which Telephone itself is even as amazing as a tribute from what Last Friday Night did, because it's just that great, because it featured also a bunch of coaches from those series that officially also had a name, along with Harry Styles, which we got as it was instead of Watermelon Sugar. It's even insane how we even got some really good songs, even though there that is even a good meme song, Bring Me to Life, which was a, more of a meme than a rock genre choice. The same thing even surprising how Danger Danger High Voltage also has a 16-bit alternative, which is amazing because it is filled with a bunch of Just Dance coaches from previous Just Dance titles in a 16-bit version, which is amazing because you never see that from Just Dance themselves because they usually have some retro or arcade versions like All Hail the Pixel King and White Noise, which are good options, or they go with the video game theme Mario, Pac-Man, Tetris, and a bunch of other ones. No, they go full in with the whole 16-bit alternative, and yet, and it's just that amazing. It's not even defined as an animated map. It's more of a retrofied map with just cool characters in the background because you never see that from a Just Dance title before. Also some easy, predictable ones like Driver's License and Dynamite because radio station popularity on streaming platforms. And there's even also Numb as well, which Linkin Park finally gets his recognition, finally after being in there for so long. And it's just that great. We also got a collaboration with the movie of Lyle L. Crocodile, which is surprising, and they managed to do that. Because if you didn't notice that in Just Dance, 2023 was actually in the background of New York City of Lila Crocodile. And we also got Walking with Sunshine with Picto having his own dance finally, which is actually surprising. It's not even a mashup. You cannot define that as a mashup because even though it shows coaches from previous titles, it doesn't count as a full on mashup because it still also has some original moves as well. And it even is very extremely creative in what they do. But the only length goes from, from 2016 to 2022. And of course, it's not an obvious Just Dance title with another Disney song as usual. With Encanto, we don't talk about Bruno. It's not exactly annoying as Let It Go from 2015. And Wouldn't It Be Nice is great because it shows a final 
new Beach Boys song, but it's not exactly by them, it's by the Sunlight Shakers as well. You know, there's probably some other songs that I might have forgot about, like More and Zooey Doo and a bunch of other ones, but those, I just picked those top 20 as my favorite for now, because the soundtrack itself is just great for 2023, and I will move on to Just Dance 2024. Now, Just Dance 2024 edition survived for quite a long time, because for some reason, it survived a whole bunch of leaves and all over the internet of what had just happened, but it managed to survive with a good soundtrack and really new progression modes and new playlists and everything. Although consideration, it's considered amazing. It first song was started off with Sale, which is a good start off, but then there was a lot of songs that pretty much got leaked all over the internet, almost possibly, but they were still good. Some of the requested songs that I requested for 2023 got pushed to 2024 instead, like for example, like How You Like That and Don't Ya, which are just ones that I suggested, and even some other iconic ones, like for example, like, um, you know, like uh, Fall Out Boy, Sam Smith, and even some other iconic singers that never got the recognition throughout the series yet, but finally get their opportunity now for some reason. But, but it probably took a long time, but they now have to use like the newest slash current song that they're playing now. Along with I Wanna Dance With Somebody, which also was another song that got leaked as well by the internet. There was also some better songs that were added, but they weren't in the official soundtrack, like Lose Yourself by Eminem, Line Up, and Hip by We Don't Know, or Babalu, which I don't know. However, the story mode is actually great as well, although there were some of the songs had to be like remasters or remakes or something like that. Unfortunately, there was no new Katy Perry, there was no new Dua Lipa, no Ariana Grande, or any other interesting ones, but instead you get like interesting ones like Can Heat, which takes inspiration from the Napoleon Dynamite movie, but they use like the remastered version and the original version. Billie Eilish's You Should See Me in the Crown is considered a good concept and as a continuation of the Billy line from 2020 as it continues to grow. We also got Stronger, but what doesn't kill you, but Kelly Clarkson. Although some people speculated it would have been cool if we got Daft Punk's Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger instead, but it just didn't make more sense, so they had to go with this one instead. Oh well, yeah, in terms of the coaches that you see from entering the dance verses and dance with the swan, the names are Wanderlust, Sarah, Reziana, Mihai, or Mihaly, I like to call her, and Jack Rose. Though the villain is Night Swan, and although, get this, in Vampire, you see Ari and Grace together at the prom, but they don't kiss, therefore they're not lesbian, they're straight, by the way, just to let you know. And in terms of requested songs, that I, like I said earlier, they they did some changes, like they used some bunch of coach recycling, because I'm pretty sure that's their new idea now, since they're no longer, they're still focusing on also some original coaches while also still reusing coaches from previous ones. Like for example, they, they, they're reusing the same coaches from the Buttons and JD22 for you don't you? As it makes sense because it works pretty well because it, it, the singer still works with that previous song last time. And like I, as I requested that Destiny's Child would make it in, is finally here, finally once and for all. Since it's been quite a while since that's since we had a new Beyonce song or any type of one. But it's good that Destiny's Child still exists now and today. And there's still a bunch of other songs that I still are pretty interesting. There were some following that got in, but they didn't deserve that slot. And also, there's also Shine a Little Love as well. But then by the same company, the same singer who made Mr. Blue Sky. And then there's the Blue Remix, or I'm Good, which features David, Greta, and Ben Orexa, and which is suitable. I will take that, because I know Just Dance also likes to take songs from previous titles and bring it back again in a remix line. They did this, they did this with I Like It from Just Dance 4, so it obviously makes sense. And, it, and my goodness, Never Be Like You in Just Dance 24 
is finally come true. This is honestly one of my favorite songs in the entire soundtrack of all time because this song was never received a Just Dance fan-made mashup or an even fan-made dance itself, but it's finally here. I won, and I like to take this with a massive W from this. When the game came out, it wasn't exactly finished, but it did receive a few updates later, which of course, there was a full month of promotion from October to November that there would be five extra alternatives, plus this wish from the movie Wish, which is similar to what they did back in Just Dance 2020 with Frozen 2 Into the Unknown. And they just gave five random songs, each with a different alternative, and it just and then you could buy it. Would I say it's possible to buy the game now? Yes, it is. It's possible now. And it's also noticing how some of the songs even have like good Easter eggs and some even have like share similar dance choreographies. But although there are some difficulties on some songs that don't make it sense, but then you also have like Cure For Me or aka I like to call it the Coconut Mall is in Just Dance because the cure for me literally takes a sample from Mario for the Wii to make it to make it sound like it's from Pokemon. But it, although I do like the paper version, which is very creative because it, we never had a paper origami dance choreography like this, and I really think it could really look cool in future in future dances one day. Well, I am my own muse. My Fallout Boy is pretty good for Rasputin's side of, of the song. Of the relationship with him and the bride which suits although sweets but psycho suits in this one also does it too the rest of the story mode is really interesting because it it because sometimes it will have like night swan look at the disco ball and previous dancers and it would just work pretty well and the way how each of them would even fight the darkness it's pretty awesome it's pretty action there are even some cinematic cutscenes like in, in, in Swan Lake Remix and Tainted Love which they show really good cutscenes and that story left a hanger, a really big cliffhanger to those who don't want to see spoilers or are seeing spoilers, this is just to let you know what's next for it. And we also had BTS Butter, although 2023 featured two BTS songs, not just Dynamite but also Boy With Love featuring Hasley in which Pretty soon, in future Just Dance titles, we'll probably get some more songs by Hasley herself. We're also getting some, a few, not much from BTS. We did get Seven though, a famous song from TikTok. And Treasure finally becomes official once and for all because that thing was actually in the better realm for a while. I think it was like during like what, 2014 it was shown, but then got erased and lost media. But then now it's finally and it works well with Jack Rose pretty well. It even displays how we even see him where he just only dyes his hair and his, and his collar and all that. But it's from what Night's Home wants him. And it works pretty well for this. And it even shows him it's like a massive influencer to himself and only himself because there's multiple clones of Jack Rose himself. And it really works pretty well. Though its presentation of the camera angles Pretty well. Kenny acts 
got in as a coach for Cantema. And it really suits her pretty well. She finally got her dream come true. And she's been making a bunch of YouTube shorts on you, on including TikTok as well. And she's living the dream right now. There is also After Party, another song that's promoting the game. Aside from Titi Met Pregon as well by J by Bad Bunny. Although there is a few it's a good thing that this soundtrack does have a few Spanish songs, at least. Not not exactly not exactly too much K-pop, although the extravagant of K-pop isn't exactly that big since there's not exactly as much as big hits of what it used to. Which I like this. Diversity is shown, and I think we're gonna continue showing that diversity in future titles once they continue it. The the choreography is in each song is just amazing. They show different they show different difficulties. It's even amazing how there's not exactly much of change, but it's really in terms of the color design, the graphics, and the way how it all changes together, and it really works pretty well. Just Dance 2023 edition and Just Dance 2024 edition so far have been showing the greatest soundtracks for both versions and showing also the greatest progression details and new content that truly has become known as the new era of Just Dance finally once and for all. After being stuck in Just Dance 2019 to 2022 throughout the no change of menu and music, although their music soundtracks there were pretty bad. These two particularly finally changed that and it truly feels like a brand new start for the franchise once and for all. And I really like this. So the conclusion here is that you should. It is actually really fun to play, especially with friends and family members. Because Just Dance is more than just a game or just any party game. It really like brings friends and families together because they did create a documentary called Dance With Us, which I haven't seen yet, but I will eventually though. And throughout Just Dance 2023, I always struggled with the online system and always pretty much complained of how bad the Wi-Fi is. But then when I realized, when I downloaded Just Dance 2024 edition and realized that, wait, so I just had to delete the save file on my Switch and then it, and then it gives me the new content. And it pretty much, as Just Goes BR just quoted, that it's considered that you save your progress thanks to Ubisoft Connect. That's pretty much not a big problem. There is a few glitches and bugs, but it, you just have to deal with it. It's not that big of a deal. It truly showed the change that Just Dance is officially a one short platform. But anyways, I really appreciate you enjoying this review from what I made today. Hope you guys really like this. Make sure to leave a comment, like, subscribe, make sure to also hit the notification bell, and also stay tuned for the upcoming Just Dance 2025 predictions video that will be coming soon, pretty soon, very well. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you guys next time, deuces.